Hi, I'm Corey Morgan with Corey'sFacePainting.com, and today I'm going to talk about um, one of the uh, tricks that I use when working with sponges. We have um, you know, your normal sponge, which you know, every face painter uses to apply either whether it's paint, whether you're applying uh, your powders. And one of the things that we do generally is we, you know, try to cut. We cut our sponges in half so it makes it easier to apply it to the uh, to the paint. And that is. Uh, you know something that all of you know that, that all of us do uh, when you know, once we get our sponges, we get our scissors, we cut our sponges in half, and you know, that's what we have. Now, one of the uh, tricks that I've learned as well is not to just stop with having a sponge cut in half. It's good you have a flat surface, you have your sharp edges here, you have your your other edge here for for blending, but. What you wind up having a problem with is when you're working with your uh, your split cakes, your rainbow cakes. This half this half sponge may be too uh, be too large to fit in. It makes it harder to run it across your cake in order to get all your colors in. So what I've taken to do is actually cutting the sponge again, um, not necessarily cutting it all the way in half, but going about three quarters of the way through and making another cut. What you wind up with is. You end up with a smaller sponge, you have greater surface area, you actually now wind up with one, two, three, in fact four sharp edges instead of the previous two. It also helps now that you can run your sponge directly across the cake and you can hit all, all five, six, seven colors at one time for when you have to go and apply that to your, uh, to your client's face. Makes it a lot easier than having to take your half sponge and crunch it up and you're either gonna you're either gonna get some of one color and not enough of another, and you'll find out when you put it on the face that you're actually missing stuff. Cut your sponge again in half. You wind up with you wind up with a uh, an extra set of uh, uh, surface areas and edges to work with, as well as the second one, the second sponge, which also is good if you're using your already brush cakes. It's the perfect, it's already the perfect size. You can run it right there. You're in business. One sponge, and you've just about tripled your workload there.